Hey, hello Galaxy Heroes. So um, I thought I would kind of cover some more Territory War counters. I mean, if they're in Territory War, they're also in GAC. Uh, this first one, to be honest, uh, unless you really have to, um, I'm not a fan of because it wipes out one of your best squads. I mean, I know GG is good, but is he... 501 worthy um i don't think so i really don't i think better off using other squads to take him out um and saving your 501st or if you're a, a proud owner um checking swhg gg this morning um 633 jedi knight luke's currently in game um but that seems to be going up all the time. Uh, I checked the other day and it was 551. So people have been sitting on it and hoarding the gear. Don't blame you. I mean, he needs an atrocious amount of gear. But if you don't put it on him, he's not going to be useful. So obviously it makes sense to wait until you can activate rather than just clicking the button immediately and inflating your GP for something you can't get the benefit of. Anyway, um... So this is um, taking out a GG. Um, we, I think we get a clear round, do we? I need gas to stand up. No, we don't get a clear round, so we lose. Right, five does the does his thing. Um, so yeah. Hmm. As I say, I think it's a bit overkill. I mean, unless it is kind of like a Relic 7 all the way across the board and ridiculous speeds on everything. and You just don't think anything else can handle it. This one, okay, so um, as you can see, I've moved some mods around. Um, I think they're all health on her. The, the arrow, the triangle cross and circle so 137,000 um i'm getting ready to try the tier 2 sid challenge when it comes back but uh, it's kind of i mean i'd say it's a lot cheaper option what do we do with our night sisters we use them either as cleanups or I suppose you can set them as well depending where you are uh, gp wise um to be honest they're not a, a comp that we tend to see at the let's try some diplomacy the higher end of the gp charts there, there you go how about that um so yeah it does take some commitment obviously on working on your night sisters but most people have because you know they were the P4 of HSTR until Supreme Leader Kylo, aka the Merc, came along. I just think of Mercedes every time I see the first three initials. That's all. Um, yeah, but this okay. It gets a bit hair. It does get a bit hairy. Sorry about the shouting there. Uh, it does get a bit hairy. Daka does get quite low at some points however of course she's got the uh, she's got the zeta so it's kind of a slightly false representation because the, the game doesn't tell you just how much health she still has but when you can do that and then you can do like a, a group attack or whatever and take someone out as well that are and reheal and everything you yeah, know it's cool I like the fact, I didn't realise, I thought that, that um, Newt as a Separatist would have been marked by Grievous, but of course he's not droid, so therefore he's just standing there and watching his uh, multi-limbed friend um, just take an absolute pummeling. Bye-bye. Job done. Take him out once, take him out twice. Jobs are good. So that's 20 banners there. Um, <clears throat> so this one, I suppose we could argue, um, is this an expensive GG counter? Um, some people like to place Padme kind of at the, in the rear, you know, we all like 
Padme in the rear, don't we? Um, so she can trip Gills over, you know, when you've gone through everything and then it's like, oh my God, now we've got to go through this. Um, so obviously it's an option. However, they are pretty damn good at clearing Grievous. Um, so, yeah. That's the thought process there. Um, I just realised I haven't speeded any of these up. Apologies, I should have really speeded them up. Um, so, it's not too long. It's not too long, so... Oh, oh, that was my tea that I was turning around. So, yeah. I mean, Padme is fairly straightforward. Um, my Padme I've got up to... This is actually was before I remodded my Padme. So, this, this Padme is a slow one. Um, just over 250 speed. I've, I've changed that around now. Um, and, um, so she's Relic 5. Um, Zaris, yes, she has the Zeta. Come on, you, you can't not do that Zeta now. You really, yo, know, that is an essential Zeta on Zaris. Or Barris Offie with her Zeta. Um, and then... Annie Snips and Mr. Beardy are all Relic 7. So it's a high Relic squad, but that's because I elected to invest into, you know, why would you not? You know, Annie Snips and GK are all uh, ship-related. You know, Annie and Snips have a ship, and Mr. Beardy has a bloody great ship. So, and it's current meta, so obviously the the higher um, relic level you can get him, you go into. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of validating why they are what they are, and I don't need to really, do I? I mean, it's quite straightforward. But as you can see, they take care of a GG, again, 20 banners. Um... Okay, so this one is a slightly rarer option. So this is Jedi Knight Revan, uh, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, um, Shaq T, Hermit Yoda, and I'm willing to bet old Ben is going to take the last one. Can you guess what it is yet? You may have already seen this if you watched my JKL vid that went out yesterday. But it was a TW counter, and I'm going to include it in here. So if you did miss it there, here it is. So this is a full Jedi squad taking on a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with three First Orders and Darth Malak. The reason Darth Malak's mentioned is because that changes the synergy, apparently, on how the First Order work. Um... My strat here is I want um, Hux gone as soon as possible. So let's target Hux, focus down on him. I think we can fairly say that Hux has gone. So the next one I want to get rid of is actually Phasma. And the reason why I want Phasma going is because Phasma on one of her specials gives first order advantage. And um, First Order with advantage cannot be critically hit. And again, that's bad because we want to critically hit to stand any chance of putting the Merc on his ass. So we need to do that. I've avoided going for uh, Malak for as long as possible so that I haven't feared any of my Jedi up till now. Um, that's going to change, I believe. No, not yet. But this is where it becomes a bit of a chore, because Malak, as you well know, is a stubborn sod and takes a lot of killing. Um, so you don't need to be alarmed at that, because in my experience, nearly every battle... Uh, Revan goes. It's whether or not we can either stop the taunt on uh, Malak or just get 
you know, get rid of him. To uh, finally get at our targeted tune. So I think I'm going to switch the, uh, the, the JKR thing there. Yes, that does that. So now we can finally, finally start homing in on um, Supreme Leader. So there goes Ben. Uh, I don't know whether little uh, Hermit Yoda was in the back going around as well. I think he went as well. So now it's just the two Jedis, but <coughs> Shaq's a great stand-in for gas. Um, if you're wondering why my gas isn't in this squad, well, you saw where gas went. Gas was in a 501 against General Grievous. Um, this is where I'm saying I think he would be better here. But Shaq is a good stand-in because she's got the debuff on her basic. Um, switching over there. And then she can pass a turn. And that was enough to post 17 banners against SLKR. Not bad. This one, I've got to be honest, this one is purely for the giggles. Um, I really wanted to try and, um, sorry Guild, I actually didn't even speed check or anything. Mm. I just knew that my bounty hunters were pretty good. I mean, Django's Relic 7, Aura's Relic 1, Bosk is Relic 7, uh, 6 star Mando with a Zeta and 4 star Grief with a Zeta, both gear 11. So I missed the first one, in, in for the second, and I, I just, yeah, yeah. So I believe we just start with the, the group attack and then the assist, and then Aura can do a lot of damage with her stealthed rifle. Then another group attack, we've hit payout. Um, so we should be good. Oh yeah, so something that you get on the Aura um, lead is that you get a percentage chance to, um, oh, where's Nest? Yeah, sort of. Um, to, yeah, they have countering abilities, which is excellent. There we go for the heal. Everyone's back to maximum. Um, just grief to go, which he duly does. That's it. Thank you for watching.